Hi, my name is Garrett Earls. I'm the director of sales for Alpha HD Trailers. Today, we're gonna go over the attaching and detaching of a mechanical detachable gooseneck. The first thing you're gonna do is you're going to disconnect the air and electrical lines from the truck to the trailer. After you've done this, you're going to unlock the fifth wheel. Once your fifth wheel is unlocked, the truck is gonna pull out dropping the deck to the ground with the gooseneck still attached. So once the truck has pulled away, we're gonna to come to the side of the gooseneck and disconnect the air and electrical lines. After you've disconnected the lines, you're gonna tuck them into the front of the deck in the pocket. After the air and electrical lines have been disconnected, we're gonna remove the horseshoes. We're gonna pull the ride height block up and store it on the keeper. After the ride height blocks have been secured, now the truck may back back underneath the gooseneck. Our mechanical detach comes standard with an air assist support arm. The support arm is ran by airbags. You have a manual lock. You have a raised lower valve and you have a regulator valve to adjust the air pressure depending on what you're doing. The instructions are listed here on the gooseneck. This particular truck, we can't get the fifth wheel far enough forward, so we're gonna have to use a wood block in addition to the support arm. First thing you're gonna do is get the pressure off of the manual lock pin. There's a tab welded on the bottom side of this rod that you're going to slide over and make sure it comes in contact. After that, we're gonna lower the support arm down, making contact with your truck frame with the switch, the on-off switch. Dial the pressure, approximately 90 PSI. So now that we've inspected and made sure the gooseneck support arm is in contact with the truck frame, we can come back here to the side of the deck and pull the gooseneck to deck lock pin free, so now the trap can pull forward. There we go. After the gooseneck to deck lock pin handle has been released, you can now pull forward with the truck. So here we're showing the alignment trough or V-trough, and also you can see rear of it, you have a hole in the top of the deck, and this is for visual inspection when we go to reattach the gooseneck that you can ensure that the lock pin has been engaged. So you'll be able to see the top of the lock pin once it's been engaged uh, into the gooseneck. When he backs back up to reattach the neck to the deck, you can go ahead and free the lock pin handle there is a window that will hold the lock pin back and the lug on the rear of the gooseneck will push it and, and engage the lock pin into the lug of the rear of the gooseneck. After the gooseneck is being reattached to the deck, visually inspect that the lock pin handle is dropped. And like I said, you can also come back to the rear to make sure you visually see the lock pin. Now we're ready to raise the gooseneck support arm up back into the gooseneck and lock it in place. So you're gonna come and switch to the raised position. You're gonna pull the lock handle, make sure it drops. And then in the travel position, you're gonna adjust this to 30 to 40 PSI as the decal states. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and pull the truck out from under it so we can reconnect our ride height block. First thing I'm gonna do is disconnect the airline. After that, you're gonna unlock your fifth wheel and pull the truck out from underneath.
After the truck is pulled away, the first thing we're going to want to do is reconnect the air and electrical lines. After the air and electrical lines have been reconnected, we're going to reconnect the teardrops or collars back over the load pins. After we have made sure that the ride height plates are over the load pins and secured, you can now back back under with your truck, reconnect your air and electrical lines and go down the road.